understanding your test results, and monitoring your kidney function. There are several main parameters that are used to assess kidney function, and we will go through each of these to gain a clear understanding of how they reflect your kidney function. Creating an clearance test. Along with GFR, this is one of the most important tests in assessing kidney function. This test compares the level of creatinine in the urine with that in the blood. As opposed to a blood test to measure creatinine levels, by taking urine levels into account, the creatinine clearance test measures how effectively creatinine is removed from the blood by the kidneys. This therefore gives a more accurate measure of kidney function than blood creatinine alone. To perform the creatinine clearance test, a blood sample is taken along with a 24-hour urine sample. The creatinine clearance rate is calculated by comparing the two samples, and to come up with a final estimate figure, the rate is adjusted according to the patient's body size. The reference ranges for creatinine clearance are as follows. Men, 97 to 137 milliliters per minute. And women, 88 to 128 milliliters per minute. Its levels naturally decline with age according to a natural decline in kidney function. Natural tips. Just like with GFR readings, any natural therapies that improve kidney health in general will improve your creating and reading, which will in this case decrease the figure. However in regard to creating in, there are a couple of extra tips and specific remedies that can be applied. Because creatinine is a product of muscle metabolism, any activity that is highly strenuous can contribute to increasing creatinine. For this reason, it is recommended that patients with advanced kidney damage do not participate in regular strenuous activities. Light activities are ideal, for example walking or gardening. Specific remedies that help to decrease creatinine include nettle leaf, horsetail or couch grass which are both herbs that have widespread positive impact when it comes to kidney health. Potassium and Sodium Potassium levels can increase when the kidneys are not filtering efficiently, and if this is the case, then you need to decrease your intake of potassium in the diet. This is only usually necessary in advanced kidney damage. Potassium is impossible to avoid entirely, but not that you would want to. Potassium is necessary for other functions within the body such as heart health. The two main reference ranges for blood potassium are 3.5 to 5.0 millimoles per liter and 3.5 to 5.4 milli equivalent per liter, depending what country you live in. Please keep in mind, there can be slight variations between laboratories as well. Natural Tips If you have high potassium levels, the best approach is to use a process to leach potassium from your foods. That way you are controlling your intake while still consuming foods that are necessary for your health. High sodium in the blood is also an indicator of poor kidney filtering, and should be limited in the diet. Sodium contributes to high blood pressure, which as we have already seen, puts extra strain on the kidneys and can cause further kidney damage. The two main reference ranges for blood sodium are 135 to 145 millimoles per liter and 133 to 146 milli equivalent per liter, depending in which country you live. Natural Tips Obviously sodium needs to be avoided as much as possible, though it is not possible or appropriate to have none in your diet. Sodium is very important for your body too. If you have a habit of adding salt to your cooking, experiment with using herbs and spices for flavor instead. Hidden sources of salt include sports drinks, tinned vegetables, sauces, tinned meats, frozen foods, takeaway foods, processed meats and cheese. There are many natural therapies available. Combined with appropriate dietary and lifestyle changes, you can both reverse kidney damage and protect from further damage to your kidneys in the future. Get an effective step-by-step -step program proven to start healing your kidneys today by Duncan Cappuccino, N.D., a fully qualified naturopath, author, and medical researcher specializing in kidney disease. Take action by clicking the link below 
you'd be surprised how well this works. If you're ready to take action, click on the link below this video now.